guys, this is Raul TV. We're here for all your motor needs. We've got a Vauxhall Zafir here, 2008 plate. It's a 1.6 petrol, this one, and we're going to replace the clutch on it. Clutch and the concentric uh, slave cylinder, which goes inside the gearbox. Let's go, let's do it. Right, guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the battery off, take the battery lead off. Take that one off as well. Right, another thing is, take that off as well there. There's a little anchor there with a 13 milli bolt head, which is over here now, basically it's like that. Take that one off. It didn't have the bolt on this one. Basically somebody's modified it and so I've took it off. Next thing you know, take the battery off. All right, next job for us is we're going to take this one off, this one off, 13 milli bolts. Another one is buried in here, that one. So basically we have to take the battery tray off. The battery tray will come off, basically take them three off. Also, you'll see these little cable ties on there, on there. Just cut them off and you can put new ones on when you refit it again. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Right guys, I've took the battery tray off as you can see here. This job, I would say, it's not the easiest clutch to, to do in the world because there's hardly any access space. So what I would do now is, to make more space, I would take this, dead easy, basically take that little black piece off there. You can just make it out there, it shines light there. The little black stopper there, take that off and the washer bottle, not washer bottle, the expansion bottle should just come, move it to a side, move it to this side. If you want, take the pipes off totally, then you know take the bottle out give you a bit more space we have to take that one off as well right okay let's go okay guys now we've took the bottle off the expansion bottle off we can get our hands in here within a little bit more space which is good for us what we're going to do is we're going to take the reverse light switch off oh, basically one switch take that off and the slave cylinder the concentric which is down here there Right, I would take that off last because if you take that off now with the pipes off now, what's going to happen is you're going to have brake fluid all over the show when you send the car up to take the bottle, ball joints off and wishbones off and stuff like that, uh, the sort of drive shafts off, uh, you're going to have brake fluid all over the show. So leave that on, we'll take that off last, okay? So what we do now is move these wires to a side. What I normally do is get a cable tie, but this time around, don't need to. The I was involved, we've got one here, one there where my finger is, finger is. And we'll have one about right there, underneath there. It's there, you, when you when you come around to seeing it, uh, doing it, you'll see it. Basically, if I can get the camera in there, you'll have a better idea. There, you just make it out there in that corner. Yep, I'll point out to you on the edit. On that corner there. There we go, that's better. And another one, just there, okay? I think they're all 18 mil or 19 mil. Let's take them off. Let's go. Okay, guys. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the bell housing bolts off. So basically, we've got one here, one right there, and another one just there. You can make it out. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is them two, this one and this one, no problem. We can get to them, no problem. But the one in there, down there. It's a bit of tricky to get to us. What a bit tricky to get to. What we're going to do is we're going to take the linkages off, linkage off from here as well on the side. Just basically flick them off. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the linkage bracket off. We're not going to take the linkages out of the bracket. Leave them in there because less headache for you guys at the end, right? So what we do is we take the linkage bracket off. Two star bolts there, and that bracket should come straight off. As soon as it comes off, you can get your ratchet in there to take that bolt up here. Oh, this one here, you can tear that off. Basically, this bracket will come off, and then you can get to that bolt there. Right, so come on, let's take this uh, linkage bracket off first. To take the linkage bracket off, basically, it's an E12 star socket. We need to get one of them down there with a socket, ratchet, and a small extension, and hopefully take that off. Okay guys, that linkage bracket is totally out of the way. Now, as you can see, we can get to that bolt, no problem. 
get to the other ones well we can get to those ones no problem well what i've got now is i've got my old trusty on the job <coughs> locked and loaded ready to go let's go okay guys as you can see i've took the linkages off i've tied them up with a cable tie there's a cable tie tied it up bell housing bolts are off what we could do is we could just uh, slacken these mounting bolts don't take them off just slacken them if you want to or if you want to just leave it as it is just send the car up if you're doing it on actual stand i would recommend you don't do this job on actual stand all being because if you want to do it the proper way you have to take the subframe off but I'm not going to do it the proper way. I'm going to do it the cheated way, which will save you guys a lot of time. Most garages out there, they'll take the subframe off and everything and mess the steering up and everything. The way I'm going to show you guys is the cheating way, but the easy way, efficient way. Don't You can even do it yourself, right? But if you're doing it on the floor, I wouldn't recommend you do it on the floor because it's really, really hard to maneuver it and everything. I mean, if you want to struggle, then happy days, you know, it's up to you. But I would suggest you get it on the ramp or at least get it a couple of foot off the ground if you're doing it on the floor and then attempt it that way anyway guys everything else is done here we've took the battery tray off i'm gonna run through it out the battery tray is off the battery is off obviously uh, we took the bell housing bolts off linkage is off and that's it okay guys i've sent the car up on the ramp as you can see there right take the wheel off uh, he's got borrowing the gun over there so uh, i'm going to take it <laughs> Take it off with that same thing. I've already cracked them. Take the wheel off. We're going to take this wheel arch cover off. Basically, these little torques. Take the torques off. Oh, you can only take one half of it. We'll take one half of it off. You can see it's joint there. Take one half of it off. You can leave this side on. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Right, guys, wheels are off. Took the cover off on this side. I've took this bottom cover off here. Because, reason being, we need to get to the subframe bolts. On this car, to do it the proper way you need to take the subframe off but i would not do that i'm not going to do that you know me i'm going to hook you guys up i'm going to show you the easy way to do it i've seen many garages take the subframe off and then it's a big job big big job i'm going to do it raul tv style let's go right what we're going to do now is we're going to take the ball joints off we're going to take the drop link off on one side either the top or the bottom whatever you do just take it off on one side uh, what it is i'm in the uk here right so what i'm going to only do the gearbox is obviously on the uh, the near side so all, all i'm going to do is take the near side drop link off you know the one side of the drop link take the near side off okay and what we're going to do is leave the passenger side leave the driver side on right so like i mentioned i'm in the uk guys so the passenger side is the left hand side for me so yeah what we're going to do is we're going to take the drop link off on one side ball joint off we're going to take the drive shaft off, center bolt and the drive shaft completely off. Same on this side as well, drive shaft and everything completely off, ball joints off and we'll go from there. Okay guys, as you can see the ball joint is off, the centre nuts are off, well 99% off. What I'm going to do is, we can't really drain these because they don't have a drain plug, right, for the gear oil. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to pull the shaft out and hopefully just catch the oil, whatever's inside the drive shaft, you know, inside the gearbox, just catch it and that's about it, yeah. After that we'll go from there. Okay guys, we've took the drive shafts off, both drive shafts are off, ball joints are off, the link rod, like I mentioned, just took it off the top here on the passenger side, UK remember, passenger side, so basically left hand side, just took it off one side, so what we're going to do now is, we're going to take this mounting off, the stabiliser mounting, it's got a star socket, um, which is this one, an E18 star, take that off take that off take them three off around the back the mountain around the back can you see one make it out there one two three take them three off move that out of the way we don't need to take the starter off on this because the starter doesn't go on the gearbox it goes on the uh, engine take all the bell housing bolts off one here one here one here one here one there nut and bolt there 
and leave that one on last. Basically, that one will be our last bolt. The one up there, the Bellhausen bolt up there, that'll be our last bolt. Okay, guys, we've took this mountain off, right? What we're going to do now is we're going to take this mountain off. No, we're not going to take the mountain off totally. We're going to take them three bolts off. So yeah, let's go, let's do it. Okay guys, as you can see that one's off the gearbox, totally off. The gearbox is going to go this way, so that can stay there, no problem. What we're going to do now is take all the bellhousing bolts off like I mentioned before. Okay guys, all the bellhousing bolts are off besides this one. Okay, we took all these off around here, the mountain's loose, mountain's off on this side. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to lower the subframe, okay? The top mountain's still on, remember? Okay, we haven't took that one off, but that can, that can stay on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the subframe, but before we lower the subframe, we have to take the front bumper. We're not gonna take the bumper off, basically these little plastic push-on clips. Take them off, then the bumper's not holding it. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is the gearbox side, whichever side the gearbox is on, the subframe, we're gonna take the bolts off, subframe bolts off on the gearbox side, yeah? So basically, as you can see, the gearbox is on this side, right? I'm gonna take all this side off, so take this one off, take that one off, basically that one, yeah? Take these three off, one, two, three, take the gearbox side, subframe uh, bolts totally off. On the driver side, basically the engine side we're just going to slacken them not taking them off at all just slacken them so it gives us like that uh, leeway just slacken them that's all do not take it off or the whole subframe is going to come off just slacken these this one one up there that one and these three we're just going to slacken them but we're going to take the gearbox side ones off totally all right come on let's go let's do it okay guys as you can see i've took the subframe bolt off on the gearbox side that is that is off that is off as well they're off so the, the subframe has dropped this way a little bit right on this side as you can see i've still got the subframe bolts on right so that's on that's on they're on but as you can see i've slackened it slackened it about i would say about an inch or about a centimeter kind of thing just slackened it so now if you look at it i've got i can pull this subframe down gearbox what we're going to do is we're going to rest it onto the subframe take it off and rest it onto the subframe sent the car down and everything took the hydraulic slave cylinder pipe off what we do is i'm going to crack these take take these bolts off right and uh, obviously what you should supposed to do is take the whole you know like the wiper arms off and everything and then you can put the engine lift on top of it onto this one or onto that one but I'm not going to do that because uh, time is money what we're going to do is we're going to drop it just drop take the gearbox off we've got a trolley jack underneath it as you can see there trolley jack on the gearbox and we're going to drop it take the mountain off drop it onto the jack and in turn if you can see there there's the gearbox it's going to drop onto that block there right so that way it'll be nice and stable we'll send it up so that way what's going to happen is the engine engine and gearbox is going to drop onto that block which is going to rest against the subframe. I'm going to send it up, get the uh, gearbox or en engine lift on it, the hoist on it, and then go from there. Right, okay, let's go, let's do it. Right, guys, the mountain is totally off, which is here. As you can see, totally off. It's supported by the jack. I've got the jack underneath it, and I've got a block underneath it, so that should hold it. What we're going to do now is we're going to send it up, and yeah, attack the bottom, take the gearbox out. Okay guys, as you can see here, we've separated the gearbox. We didn't take the gearbox out. There it is, resting on the subframe. That's the way to do it, that's the way I do it. I mean, you can go taking the whole subframe off if you want to go spending time and money on it, basically. Time is money. Take the full subframe off. You need about two, three guys, two guys, at least two guys. One, well, two, three guys, I would say three guys. One to hold it on this side, one to hold it on this side, and one to put the bolts in and take it off then another thing is you have to take the steering rack off big big job so best thing to do is just lower it on one side 
and rest the gearbox onto the subframe. Now, as you can see here, I can get my hand onto the clutch, onto the concentric slave cylinder, no problem. With the uh, clutch lining up wise, you can get the lining up tool, just put it in there. They don't really need to be lined up too much. There's hardly any movement on these clutches. So yeah, come on, let's go, let's do it. Okay guys, there are the bolts, the 11 millilitre bolts holding the clutch. Right, on this side, as you can see here, I put a socket and a ratchet and basically I'm holding it. I mean, this one's not too bad because it's a timing belt on this one. On some of these, on the insignias and on some of the Vauxhall Astras, Corsas, you have a timing chain. Make sure you hold that because you don't want that going anti-clockwise and the chain uh, jumping. Even on the belts, they can jump as well. So uh, make sure you hold that or you get somebody to hold it. That's going to jam up against something so that it won't move. So what I'm going to do now is take these off. There we have it guys, clutch is off, which is on the floor here. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this concentric slave cylinder off, dead easy. It's got them torques, 30 on them. Let's take them off, take the pipe off, take the pipe off and the happy days. Let's... Okay guys, as you can see, the slave cylinder is back on. This is an updated one basically. It's a modified one, um, which is a better design. The old ones had like a, a brake pipe like a pipe going onto it which you have to screw off this one it's just a click fit basically that uh, bolts on the same as usual and the pipe that goes in from the top it just clicks onto there so that's a you know it's a godsend that's a, a really good design right we'll fit the clutch now okay guys i've got the gears box back in what i'm going to do now is put put all the bell housing bolts back on reverse order basically put the block there let the hoist down rest the gearbox onto the subframe onto the block and then put the send the car down put that top mounting on finish the job off come on let's go okay guys i've sent the car down put the trolley jack back under the gearbox yep and uh put them put that bracket back on the mounting bracket back on the mountains going on now this one this one and this one let's tighten them up Right, the gearbox is secure, the mountain's on now. The next job for us now is, guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the jack, right, it's on the floor here, under the subframe there, as you can see there, right? <clears throat> and we're gonna get the subframe bolts on. We're not gonna tighten them up or anything, just get the bolts on. So in order to get it on properly, and uh, this is a safety tip here, it'll save you a lot of hassle and uh, aggro. What it is, what you need to make sure the radiator pins are lined up. There it is there, that's not lined up at all, as you can see. So all we need to do is make sure that pin lines up there onto a rubber, yeah. And there's another cutout on the top. Just one second. Right there, yeah. So make sure that slides in to the cutout there and make sure the bottom radiator pin goes into the rubber or else if it's not lined up and you're jacking up the subframe, you are going to crack the radiator and then that's it, you'll need a new radiator. Anyway guys, let's do it. Right, as you can see the subframe is absolutely, I would say 99% married up. So what we're gonna do, we put the bolt on and then basically not tighten it up, just like about like finger tight kind of thing. And then we'll send the car back up on the ramp. Hey guys, I've got the bolts on, as you can see there on the subframe, it's not tight at, at all, but it's, it's lined up and everything. This one is finger tight all the way nearly up. So what I'm gonna do now is before we do anything and before we go fitting everything on, the first thing we should do is we should bleed the system, right? Bleed the clutch system and see if we've got a good pedal. It'll be an absolute total shame if we go fitting everything and then at the end we start to bleed the uh, clutch system, the slave cylinder and everything, and then find out we've got no pedal. So first things first, before we, we basically we've not done anything. Uh, we've just put the subframe back on, loose, and the mounting on, basically, and the gearbox on, right? So that's all we've done. So that's a five, 10 minutes job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bleed it see if it bleeds through if we get a good pedal happy days let's go okay guys there's a couple of ways to bleed these right one is you can just leave the leave the nipple off let gravity take its course and you know for all the air to come out that way 
which will take a long time so i don't i wouldn't recommend that way plus you're not 100 percent sure if all the air has come out the be best way to do it is you get a part uh, you know like a, a assistant um one of your mates or somebody get in the car and bleed it that way you get the um the uh bleeder on this one on the nipple and get them to pump it and then bleed it that way or you can get a gunson easy bleed which i've got over there um, put 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 it on there self self bleeder put it onto the tire pressure let it force it out uh, but i would suggest the best way is get a friend phone a friend get them to sit in the car press the clutch pedal on a couple of times air out and that's it let's go let's do it all right guys there's my bleed bottle i've got everything ready i'm just waiting for my brother to get in the car what it is um i can't show you how to bleed it because i can't get the camera in there and you know bleed it at the same time so basically i'm going to get that onto the nipple of the uh slave cylinder the pipe and i'm going to get him to go inside and pump the brakes for me Couple of, a couple of times, I would say about five, six times, maybe about ten times. Pump it, make sure you have fluid in the reservoir. And then once it's, uh, you know, there's no air bubbles coming out, just lock it back up. Happy days should be done. Right, so, okay, let's go. Right, pump it. Pump it? Yep. Is that fluid in it? Yep. All right, guys, now we've got a pe good pedal. We've bled it through. We've got a good pedal, everything, all good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the housing bolts back on, fit the gear linkages back on, all the wiring and everything, battery tray, everything in reverse order. Let's go. Let's do it. We're falling behind again. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Right, guys, the gearbox filler on this, right, the gearbox oil filler, right, the fluid it goes in there right which is a stupid design because if you haven't got a little like a bendy you know uh filler pipe kind of thing it's impossible to get to that plus to take it off and everything it's a headache so what we do is i put all the drive shafts back on i'll put all the drive shafts back on finish everything off and on the top from the gear uh from the reverse light switch just pour, pour it in that way that's what i will do right okay let's go okay guys as you can see i've fitted everything on the gear linkages is back on right down there all the bell housing bolts are on the uh, slave cylinder pipes on blend through everything what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the battery tray back on three bolts remember that back on but before you do that fit the uh, expansion bottle slides in and uh, yeah then that way the top is done we'll send it up finish the bottom off okay guys everything is done we've put the battery on battery tray back on all the bell housing bolts everything is back on on the top the top is finished except for one wire so i'm going to leave that one off the earth wire leave that off for now when I've done everything, bang that on, then start it up. Right, let's send it up, finish the bottom off. We're going to put the ball joints on, drive shafts on, the both mountains, stabilised mountains on, everything back on. Let's go. Right, I've sent it up on the ramp, back up on the ramp again. I've put this mountain back on, obviously loose. Back one's back on as well, loose as well. Right, back one's back on, loose as well. Right, all the drive shafts back on. Uh, ball joints back on. Basically, I'm gonna run through it now. Mountains, stabilized mountains, drive shaft, ball joints, li drop links, all the balancing bolts. That's it. Let's go. Let's finish it off, guys. Everything is done. I've put everything back on. The wheels are back on. The drive shaft, the balancing bolts, mountains, everything. Uh, slave cylinder. Everything's back on. What we're gonna do now is start it up. Let's see if it starts up. Moment of truth like to say light the blue touch paper and stand well clear anyway guys that's how we replace the clutch on a 1.6 petrol 2008 voxel zafira it's a pretty much same on the voxel vectors as well voxel astras pretty much same use do it that way basically don't take the full subframe off just lower one side of the subframe and you're good to go Anyway guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you guys soon. Raul TV, peace out.